Okay guys, James Park from jamesparkgolf.com and I just want to show a quick little video, if that's possible, a quick little video um, about um, flexing forward and flexing backwards with your spine or extension and flexion, right? So um, we've got Tommy Fleetwood uh, in front of us. Um, so let's assume Tommy's got like a six iron or a seven iron, um, uh, it looks like. So let's assume he's bent forward uh, 40 degrees, right? If we draw a line straight up, vertical, uh, we're going to call that zero degrees, right? So he's bent forward about 40 degrees um, in his setup, right? Now, um, as he gets to the top, um, he's going to be extending or bending backwards, right? So his, his spine's going to be uh, bending backwards, extending uh, to get up close to zero degrees, right? So it's difficult to to tell this on a uh, to pick this up on a with a static camera position. We need to go uh, and look from different positions, and I'll do that in a second. Um, uh, but but then as he comes down, he then flexes back forward, right down to P6, where you see and where you see uh, the pros get down into a position. And this is why the head drops as well, guys. Right. So you look at his head there. His caps maybe at the top of four and zero. Then the head drops just like Tiger. Uh, and then when you get when you see them in P6, their shaft parallel with the ground. That's when their spine is in a similar sort of position to to when they started. And then what you see from there is their spine start to extend a little bit again. So maybe it would go from, you know, bending forward 40 degrees to extending a little bit up to maybe 30 degrees. And then as he goes through impact and post impact, his spine's going to be bending backwards, right? Uh, and I'll pull some other examples up in a second. But with regards to bending backwards, a good way of thinking about that would be well if he stood up straight he'd be up to zero um, if he bent backwards right um, he would be over here right so his spine now is bending backwards past zero so bending forward 40 degrees to set up to it he's bending backwards or extending to get up to about zero at the top of the swing flexing forward again down to P6, and then after P6, through impact, post-impact, right up, right up to his finish, um, he's bending backwards. Right. So, so let's give you a um, let's give you an example of uh, the extension first. Um, so let's do this with Dustin Johnson. Let's put a line next to his ear, a couple of lines next to his shoulders and hips. Right, and, and the best way to think about it would be it's all relative to with the with the bending forward and backwards, it's all got to be relative to where the chest is pointing, right? Where his um you know, where where the buttons on his on his on his collar are pointing, where his chest is pointing, right? So so uh, at setup, you know, his chest is facing the camera uh, at the top of the swing. His chest now is going to be pointing this way, right? So you look at his spine, right, pretty much at zero, right? So that's what we, that's what we, that's the kind of the, from a, from a 2D analysis, we kind of, you know, all this is obviously three dimensional, the bend, the, the bending and extending, the rotating, the other, or the turning, uh, and also the tilting as well, the tilting to the left, the tilting to the right. But, you know, I'll cover those in future videos. Um, but that's a good way of thinking, of, of understanding how the spine uh, bends backwards or extends as you get up to the top, right? Um, good example of that. Um, now, now, now the bending backwards, let me give you a quick example. Um, of a guy uh, that I'm working with, right? Kind of working on his move nicely, right? Worked a lot on getting his hips forward, wasn't transferring his weight with his hips. 
um, but what he's doing as well now is he's moving not only his hips forward right shifting his weight over his lead foot and he does that really nicely now clears his hips nicely um, but he's also moving his upper body over his lead foot right so when he's at about, about p8 p8 he's arm parallel with the ground you can see how his spine is pretty much straight up right so one of the things you know he kind of cuts across it a little bit right and his shot is a pull um, and a fade uh, caused from coming across it a little bit so one of the things we're working on is we're working on getting his spine bending backwards at p8 right so that he can get his hands a bit higher right um, so if you tr look at look at DJ, we'll get rid of these lines. Right, you look at his spine at P8 there, right? Arm parallel with the ground. You look at his spine, it's bending backwards, right? So then you can get your hands nice and high. His hands come up a little bit higher, right? So that's one of the things we're working on with, with this guy. Uh, another example of that good example of that would be um, maybe speed right so you look at how hit and don't forget it's all relative the bent the bending forward and backwards has to be relative to where the chest is where the chest is pointing right so now his chest is pointing towards the target so obviously he'd be he, uh, zero would be straight up right which is where you see this guy right so his hands kind of move very low and very left and cuts across it uh, you look at the pros at this point at p8 right right arm parallel with the ground their back is bending backwards 20 odd dig well let, let's kind of do a 2d measurement right so that would be zero that's 90 degrees uh, middle would be 45 degrees yeah, maybe 30 degrees 35 degrees maybe right that's a lot right so that's how much his spines bending backwards um, at p8 okay uh, another good example of this would be just bear with me a second This was another guy that I work with, Glenn. Um, right, really good example of not extending on his backswing, right? So this was the start of his session, right? Kind of making his backswing, turning, turning, tilting. His left shoulder's moving down, so we know he's tilting, right? But he's not extending, right? And you can see how he gets to the top and his head moves a little bit. Um, and you can see how his spine now is over here, right? So he's so he's so he's he's turning, staying in a forward flex, right? So one of the things that we that we did with him was we just got him extending more to get up to the top, and it pretty much transformed his backswing, right? Transformed his backswing. So you know, I just wanted to point that out for you for, for you guys. Um, you know, we have to bend forward at the start, obviously, to get down to the ball. Um, but as we make our backswing, we have to extend our spine, which is just which just means straightening up, right? Extending it back up to somewhere near zero. Um, and we know all these numbers from, you know, all these all these uh, all this data that's out there now with the the K vest and uh, and and other many other sources as well. So. A um, few little tips for you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, if you liked it as much as I enjoyed making it for you, then feel free to um, share this with your friends. Thanks very much.